Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girlfriend Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it for you guys. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested we react to how can we follow Muhammad sooner in today's society? It's a question and answer section by Khalid Yassin. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Um, uh, what can we Muslims do to follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sunnah? And what is your advice to us? It means like uh, today's society. Thank you, sister. And probably this is the last question. Um, I would advise the Muslims that don't focus so much on the external sunnah. We want all the sunnah to the best of our ability. We want to eat, we want to sleep, we want to wear, we want to dress, we want to act, we want to talk, we want to do everything how the process he liked, how he loved, what he'd been ordered. Because Allah subhanahu wa says, وَمَا أَتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوا وَمَا نَهَاكُمْ عَنْ فَانْتَهُوا Take what the Prophet gives you and leave alone what he forbids you. But the most important part of the sunnah, it is not the external part of the sunnah, it is the internal part of the sunnah because he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, verily I have been sent to perfect what? Good manners, good behavior. If the Muslims would charge themselves with good behavior, good conduct, watch how you speak, watch how you act, how you deal with non-Muslims, whether you lie, whether you steal, whether you deceive, whether you argue, whether you curse, whether you comply or you don't comply, whether you assimilate, you cooperate, you collaborate, you assimilate <coughs> when <coughs> it is the law. When a Muslim sees the sign that says 60 miles an hour and he or she decides to drive 80 miles an hour, I don't care if you're dressed in white from head to toe, you're in violation because you've got to follow the rules. Safety, <coughs> health, the rules of the society, for the benefit of the people, everybody has to do what? what you, uh, Muslims, what, I'm speaking Chinese? The rules of the society, which is there to protect everybody, which is there to benefit everybody, what have Muslims to do? We have to obey. Unless that rule or that principle, it directly undermines the principles of Islam. In that case, there is no obedience to any creature when it involves disobedience to Al-Khaliq. This is the principle. But other than that, we Muslims have to obey. We have to comply. We need to assimilate in order that people don't see us to be on the outside. That people don't see us to be, you know, uh, what you call it, um, uh, some people who set themselves out and uh, they can't tolerate and they can't mix and they can't uh, interact and they don't reciprocate that you know it's only win for them but no win for somebody else they're always frowning they're always complaining they're already blaming they're already talking bad about other people and they never want to give they always want to take Muslims if we Muslims correct our behavior if our behavior starts to shine and people can feel and smell the Sunnah just like you can taste and you can, you can smell basmati rice before you taste it. Nobody can hide the smell of basmati rice. If you're cooking downstairs, the whole house can smell it. The character of the Muslim is like the fragrance of the basmati rice. And everybody wants basmati rice. <laughs> Especially when you put a little curry and some other spices in it too. 
So this is our problem and this is our challenge. Our problem and our challenges is that Muslims, we know the doctrine, we know the hadith, we know the Quran, we know the Arabic language, we know the ahkam, we know the balagha, we know the tafsir, we know this, we know that, but we're not acting upon what we say. And Allah, He says in the Quran, O you who believe, لِمَا تَكُولُونَ مَا لَا تَفْعَلُونَ O you Muslims, why you say things that you don't do? Kabura, maqtan, عند Allah. It is hateful, odious in the sight of Allah that you say, recite, and quote things that actually you don't do. إِنَّ اللَّهِ يُحِبُّ الَّذِينَ يُقَاتِلُونَ فِي سَبِيلِهِ What? سَفَّنْ كَأَنَّهُمْ بُنْيَانُمْ مَرْصُوصْ so we Muslims, inshallah, if Allah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to correct our behavior. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, to, to, to move our words, to expand our iman, to increase our knowledge, to give us more love and trust of each other, respect for our parents, love and loyalty for the scholars of Islam. Even if we disagree, we still love them, we follow. Even if we disagree, because there is even, there's a manhaj, there's an adab for even disagreement. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that each one of us will make an assessment of themselves. And Khalid should try to become a better Muslim. Khalid should try to become a better human being. Khalid should look to his character. He should look to how he's dealing with his neighbor, his colleague, and his co-worker. Because I'm telling you for sure, one out of 50 people in this country, they're ready to take shahada right now. But Muslims are in the way. One out of 10 of your non-Muslim neighbors and colleagues and co-workers, if they don't become a Muslim, they will become your ally if you treat them correctly. But right now, Muslims don't have many allies, and Muslims are not able to give many shahadas. And we blame it on them. We say, oh, them kafirs, I've been talking to them for a long time. No, what you're doing, you see, you're, you're, what you're serving, it don't smell like basmati rice. Your character is smelling bad. Your clothes are looking nice. Your words are sounding nice. You are religiously correct. But you are characteristically wrong. If we change that, and we pray to Allah that we change it, inshallah, Islam is going to enter every house, and Islam is going to enter the hearts like Bluetooth. They can't stop it. It's called what? The Dawah Tsunami. And nobody can stop it. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, mashallah. Very interesting video. Um, many of us in this world, not just Muslims, many of us preach what we don't practice. We just want to preach, 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 preach whatever subject we're preaching, but we're not even following those things that we're preaching out there. How is someone supposed to look at me and do as I told them, yet I'm not doing it myself. They see me doing the opposite. It doesn't work like that. Many of us are not out there serving basmati rice. There's nothing enticing that we're putting out there to, to say, okay, this will make this person attracted to, attracted to this or even try out this thing that I'm serving out there. Otherwise, this was a very, very good message. Very interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. It was very funny to... Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.